my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So listen, this is gonna be my actually second only unboxing. Well, my first official unboxing video because the one that I did for what I ordered from uh, Planner Press, you didn't actually see the packaging. I was so excited I'd already opened it all. Um, but this one, I got my first order. I ordered from Cloth and Paper, and I have been watching people um, on here when they order from Cloth and Paper for for a, couple, for a while now. And um, I don't know, I kind of, I was happy with what I had um, when I was using Happy Planner, but because of what I, when I started using Happy Planner more for my academic planner, for my work planner related to what I do as a department chair and as a faculty member and as a committee chair and a committee member for my graduate students, all of that color and the extra stuff, it just started to bother me. And so I wanted to move to something more neutral. So for the end of 2020, I moved um, to Little Miss Fancy Plans. Um, uh, I think it's actually, they've changed their name a little bit, so it's Fancy Plans & Co. And I love their stuff too. Like I love the white and black and gray and like the minimalism of it and the neutrality of it. Um, and so I thought that I would give cloth and paper a try for the same reason. Let me talk to you about how excited I was to get this box. It's like not normal, but anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to do this little unboxing. I'm gonna be totally honest, kinda already unboxed it a little bit. Um, but I mean, cause I was so excited, I kinda had to like take a peek at everything first. Um, but you know, here we all are anyway. So I ordered, um, well, let me just start with saying I love this interior, um, paper is so pretty. Um, just like with BK post, I don't know what I'm going to use this custom tissue paper for, but I will be saving it and using it for some purpose. It's something that that paper is gonna have a, a use um oops oh well just kind of toss that box to the side so this is everything that i ordered i ordered the 2021 or i'm sorry the 20 yeah the 2021 i was right the 2021 monthly dated year in a glance um, I ordered everything, um, these two calendars in the classic Happy Planner size. Um, I really prefer this size of calendar. Um, it's not, for me, it's not too bulky, but it gives you enough space to be able to write in your boxes and what you need to write in. And so it just is a size that for me makes me really happy. So this is what it looks like. So you get, um, and this paper is, and I'm sure you can tell, um, is it's white, white with black writing. So you have this first uh, page that just tells you it's a month at a glance with a Monday start. And then I'll put on, I'll probably uh, just do, you know, my belongs to and write that in and just hand letter that in. I love how this year at a glance looks. There are still aspects of bullet journaling that I really love that I bring forward with me into my academic planner. And so because of the amount of space between sort of the horizontal space and the vertical space between dates, I will probably actually end up using um, these dots, um, which we'll, I'll talk more about in a second. But I'll probably end up using these dots to mark important dates here. 
so that I can mark things like when spring break is, the first day of school, things like that. I won't necessarily write it in here, but I'll mark it with a dot so that we'll know. I love that on her list of holidays that she has Juneteenth on here. Um, I teach at a historically black college and university. I teach an HBCU and I have been teaching at HBC at an HBCU. I'm teaching at a new one now, um, but both of them celebrate Juneteenth as a campus holiday. And so um, I love that this is in here because um, often if you're teaching in the summer session and for students who, who are attending those um, those campuses, you know if this is a weekday, you're gonna get the day off. It's a holiday on campus. And so I love that this is, um, that this is there. Um, it's just wonderful. So each month in the monthly has, it starts with your, um, this kind of goals sheet. So you have your to-do list, your goals, your important dates, your bills due. Um, now I, because I'm going to be using this for my academic planner, I might actually relabel this instead of being bills due. I might relabel this to like tasks that are due because every month there are administrative tasks specific to either being an academic uh, department chair or specific to being a chair of a thesis or a project. So I think I'm going to do the important dates are gonna be those kinds of things related probably more to like campus wide things, but this might be things that are, like this might be the things that are like on the campus calendar, but also like conferences or things like that, where this is gonna be sort of those project specific dates. I think I'm gonna rename this for that because I don't do um, bills or money management in this calendar. So the month is laid out like this. Like I said, I ordered the 2021 calendar. Um, I love, I always order, if I'm gonna order a calendar, I always order my next year's calendar in October. I hate like not, I, I like to plan early. <laughs> Let me just say it like that. And like the spring schedule is already due soon. Um, so there's things about like from in terms of work, you know, things that I already know that are going to be happening January through next May. So being able to have access to this calendar now is like already like I already feel more confident about the spring semester. <laughs> um, each month ends with a note page, which I love because I purchased also from um, cloth and paper, I purchased um, the undated weekly calendar. And so uh, I will actually be sticking the weeks in between the months because that's the way I prefer mine to go. So what I will do is um, this page, for example, I'm not gonna use. And the reason for that is because January actually starts, January 2020 starts on a Friday. And so, um, and unlike this where the months are separate, so you could put pages in between, the weeks aren't. And so, and I, I know this because again, I kind of pre-unboxed. <laughs> um, but I also know that, um, so, let me say it like this. So I, I know I'm gonna put the pages in between, right? And so there are, and since the first day of the week is Friday, I'm just gonna count my Fridays, right? So there are five Fridays and thankfully it ends, the month ends on a Sunday. And as you can see, the hour page, um, splits Saturday, splits this column for Saturday and Sunday, which I love because if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know, on, especially for my work calendar on Saturdays and Sundays, I don't do anything administrative on Saturday and Sunday. I take, I take my days and take my rest, right? 
Friday is usually my research day even and so I this ends up being a space that ends up being a lot more for decor rather than use and so um, I'm looking forward to being able to do and actually I'm going to do it right now because that's just the kind of person I am um, and so let's see so this is gonna be flip this this way so I can count so this is gonna be Friday the first the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. All right, so that is going to be that. Let's make sure that this is gonna actually work. So this week starts on a Monday, so I'll go ahead and put this one back in, because that'll give me a Monday. So Monday the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd. And then we'll go all the way to here because the 28th is Sunday. So this is probably going to be a little bit of a mess because this March also starts on a Monday. <laughs> Looks like I'm definitely gonna end up having to order some more of these, which actually I'm okay with. All right, so that'll be Monday the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 22nd, and the 29th. And then April begins on a Thursday. And it looks like just because of the way that this works out. Oops, wait. What day is that? Where did that come from? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh, that's March. Okay, so I will have to order. I'm actually really glad I did this as part of the unboxing so that I could see. I knew I wasn't going to have enough pages the way that they were numbered or the number of pages that they said came in the packaging. I knew wasn't going to give me a, week, a year worth of yearly or year worth of weeklies, I'm sorry. Um, so I am actually really glad that that happened that way. Uh, let me see, what would I prefer? what I would prefer is instead of using this page I think I would prefer to use this page and have it go this way yeah that back where it belongs <laughs> And then we go through March and then April. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then we'll just leave these pages out so that I'll know. And actually, this is perfect. So by switching that, that gave me one full week and then close out that week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and still put that in there because as I'm planning ahead to see that in April will let me know that I need to order. So I will definitely make sure that that happens before I get there. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It is not even natural to be as excited about this as I am. All right, so what I'm going to do, 
because I don't want to necessarily put that back in the plastic and since I um, just kind of sorted that out it's not gonna fit back in the plastic again so I'm gonna use my teal hardcovers that I had from Happy Planner some gold discs from Happy Planner. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on these discs. which this I am going to probably either, um, I might, I think I might punch this and just keep it where it, I might give it a little bit of height when I punch it, if that makes sense, so that it sticks up like a bookmark, right? Uh, so that I can mark that we're in October, right? Um, so I think I might do that and kind of let it just kind of come up a little bit. Um, I kind of like that, especially because like on the fancy plans calendar for the week, there's not a monthly, um, there's not a monthly, but I like having a monthly. So I think I'll just punch it up a little bit high like that. 
that. So like I said, it can work as like a um, bookmark, I think. Oh, wait, there's just a little, ah, y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, I just, I just had like a whole like girl moment. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely getting punched and used as a bookmark. Boom. Love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. So I saw on the cloth and paper web. Oh, and then there's this little thing that also came in with um, the monthly and the top priorities. Not sure how I would use this. I might just use this and clip it on to the paper and not actually, um, you know, just like as a piece of decor or something like that, we'll see. Um, but on the website, I saw for these square flags, um, how you could kind of um, use them and print on them. And so I wanted to order them. I wanted to also check Okay, so they're not a perfect fit inside the box. They are gonna run a little bit high, if you can tell. Um, you know, they're just like a little, this is the line for the box for the month. Okay, um, so it's like just a little bit high. I don't even, what is that, like a millimeter? It's not the end of the world. Um, is what it is and so this cotton color is kind of like a pink color and so I do like though that it is very transparent I don't know if you can see that on there um, that probably is better okay so if you can see you can totally see that black and number straight through that so that's totally fine the way that that So it's a quick dry. That's fantastic and good to know. Um, so that's awesome. Yay. Now, let's see how those work in. This is important to me that this kind of thing works like two in the current planner that I'm in. And I can already tell this is gonna be better. Yeah. So the fancy plan squares are already bigger, so you can see that this is gonna be perfectly fine. Um, because 
I have something on that day, I'm actually going to leave that <laughs> right there. Uh, so what I will likely do is I'll do the same thing that I have done with the other stickers and um, flags that I have is I will punch them so that they can be in here. So, so excited about that. I also got these um, transparent binder tab ones, or like folder tab ones. So these are transparent, um, which you can kind of, ooh, they are super transparent. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. It's like you can barely even see that on camera like that's so transparent that's crazy okay excited about that and then the other um, tabs are um, just white paper okay so that's how the white paper ones look okay um, ooh, I am I am loving this so on the cloth and paper site they have a digital download as well, where you can download um, a template that'll let you put the months on here. And so this is part of what I mean about, like, I'm not sure how I want to go forward with um, how I want to use the months, but like, I'm already that's lined up. So what I think I'll do is, because I did download the um, template, so I might print it out and try it, right? So I think on the template they have it where it says the month across here and then it prints like the calendar like this on the actual tab on this part, right? And so I think I might, I might do that off camera and then come back and show y'all what that looks like in another video. Just put that back. Okay. So that's really exciting. Totally love these. Now these I probably won't punch to stick in here because... I, of how I plan to use them. I actually bought them for the purpose of using them on the tabs to see how I would feel about them. So I know that's not gonna be, you know, these are a utility uh, kind of sticker, but they're not gonna be like something that would be for daily use. Now to my dots. I have been watching folks on different channels use these dots for a long time. Um, and not just the cloth and paper dots, but like all the kind of different places where you can purchase, um, purchase the functional sticker dots. And I have been debating whether or not I wanted to do that and have decided, obviously, <laughs> that I wanted to give it a shot. Um, so let's look at, ooh, sorry for that. So I bought the dots in fog, um, cotton, and linen, because I really am, I think I, I'm just super inspired by Marquita, who's, um, channel is at home with Kita. I've been inspired by her channel for years. Like hers was one of the first bullet journal channels I watched regularly. Um, and I just, I just love it. Um, and I think Amanda Wright was the other bullet journal channel that I watched a lot. Um, and I still do. I find those two ladies particularly super inspirational. Um, and so but I love the way that Marquita on at home Kita uses neutrals, but also uses like the dots and stuff like that. So I wanted to give it a shot. So these are the fog, which is kind of a gray color. And so 
So I got um, two sheets of the fog. So we're going to do That's pretty good looking. Um, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be so 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 lovely. <laughs> All right, so my university's colors, the university that I work, is actually maroon and gray. So let me go ahead and just out of curiosity, since I already know when the first day of class is gonna be for the spring. We just oops, 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 oops. I pulled up the paper with that one. Let's see. Oh, and I hate to waste a sticker. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Got the paper from the dock. Let's see. So this is gonna be on the nineteenth. Oh gosh, look at that. That's pretty. That's already pretty. So you can definitely, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can definitely see the black through on the date, no problem. Um, so it, at least in, in real life, you can totally see it. Um, I really like that. Oh my gosh. That like fills me with glee already. Yes, that's that's where it's at. Okay, I'll probably go in and do the rest of the year. I'll do the important university dots with that fall color. That makes me happy. It really does. Um, so two sheets of the fall, and I have. Two sheets of the cotton and then two sheets of the linen dots as well. So let's go ahead and and this cotton again is kind of a light pink color. Uh, and you can tell like this is gonna be super, super, super transparent, right? So that is just like as a point of reference, this cotton color here is lighter than the cashmere color from um, Planner Press, right? So they're both transparent stickers, but just as it, you can tell this is more of like a mauve and this is more of like a baby pink, right? Same thing with the linen. The after dusk is more of a mocha, and this is more the linen dots from cloth and paper are more of like a light kind of light brown, right? And they almost look a little bit purpley, but they're not. It's kind of it really is like a light brown. It's really pretty. if I'm at home or even like if I'm out um, you know I, I already know this is gonna be something that I will want to have like on hand ah! oh my gosh I 
was so loud. I, <laughs> um, I absolutely love that. I love that. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I am so happy with that. That's stinking awesome. Yo. The other thing that I love is what I can do and what I know I will do is, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now, with some little gray dots. We're gonna use these little fog dots. As we know, we have midterm grades are due on the 6th. I know that thesis and comps for people who are graduating in the fall. And I do have one of my graduate students who's graduating in the fall. So I know I need to turn in that paperwork is due here. Then I know that for the students who are doing projects, their last day to turn in graduate product projects is the 30th. So we can go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is like, this is making me so happy. And I put three dots on a piece of plastic. <laughs> But look at that, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, cloth and paper, thank you so, so, so much. You guys have given me like crazy planner piece. I didn't even know this is what it was missing in my life. Like, <laughs> crap. Um, this is so awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So, and this is probably, I might have to, like, me, I might cut it a little bit more. We'll see. So, because the Fancy Plans has a polka dot spine, um, you're kind of not, this kind of obstructing this a little bit. And then, too, because it's, because I, um, because of the way that this, I, I kind of pushed it all the way in, it's kind of coming a little bit closer. I could have done this, I kind of punched this where it was a little bit more shallow like this paper is. And what I will probably do when I get another one um, is I'll actually punch it so that it's a, it's more shallow and it's, um, cause you can tell this is in line with this Happy Planner paper back here but like this fancy plans paper is lined up right with that black line that's there. Um, and so, ooh, I'm dry, you guys. So that is my unboxing of my new cloth and paper uh, 2021 monthly dated. And then, uh, the undated weekly planner. I forgot to mention um, in this, in kind of like a little comparison along with this, this unboxing video kind of turned into like a longer video <laughs> of unboxing, but also comparison. So um, one of the things that I mentioned in the um, weekly hourly that, uh, that I'm using currently is that if you don't write small, um, you know, it might not be enough space to write in what you need to write in. Um, but notice that these, um, you still get a half hour. The line is on the hour. I also do like, and this is something that they say on their website at Cloth and Paper, it starts from six to nine, but it doesn't say like a.m. and then down here at p.m right so if you start your day at 6 p.m then you can actually just put a p here and then run yourself down through the day right 
so that might be really useful if you're like a nurse that works the overnight shift or like my brother works for a major shipping company and his his day actually starts his work day starts here right at 11 o'clock at night and so like if you are gonna use um, something like this you might need to do that right or if you're you know a doctor that works overnights or what have you you know you might need to start your day might start in a different place right now me personally, I'm a faculty member, I'm an administrator, I my work day starts in the morning. You know, I sometimes do have like 8 a.m. meetings, although I do try to avoid them. Uh, and so for me, you know, I can, having the six and seven is really useful uh, because I can just, what I'll probably do is just use this as note space um, and just put like a, I'll just probably just put like a memo sticker or something over this, right? And so like using something like, for example, I'll just pull, and I'm not gonna stick it here, but I'll just show, right? Like I could just use like a longer memo sticker like this if I'm gonna use something like this, give a little color, a little decor, but also be able to have a sticker um, here. Um, so that's something that I look forward to being able to do. That's really exciting. Um, Cause like I said, I don't usually go, I do teach. One of the other things I like about the fact that this goes till nine o'clock, I teach graduate classes and my graduate classes go from six to 9 p.m. So having an hourly that goes to nine um, is really helpful for me because you know, one day a week, sometimes two days a week, I'm still at work at nine o'clock at night. And so being able to demonstrate that on my calendar and block that out would be super wonderful. Totally, totally, totally looking forward to that. Um, so this is um, what that looks like. Like, close that up. So that's exciting. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. All right. That is going to be it for my sort of unboxing slash putting together. I will have another video doing my October layout in my fancy Little Miss Fancy Plans uh, inserts. So look for that to come later. Thank you so much for joining me on um, Enjoy the Bounty of Planning for this unboxing. Have a great day. Enjoy the bounty of your plans. I'll see you later.